Right, yeah, so we're um, right, right back where I left off with the open tasty day. With that menu still on the thing, so yeah, I didn't actually accelerate this anymore. So you say we've got a lot of passengers waiting in Newcastle. 776 to be ex um, 476 to be exact and we've only got 16 people waiting in Sunderland because there's only 649 people in um, Newcastle and um, 366 in um, Sunderland so yeah, I'm right, gonna go back in the game and then go back full speed for some reason this is uh, this so I'm going to change this to the actual name of um, a rail company that actually does <coughs> and go from Newcastle to Sunderland. It's not on the scale of this, it's like from like the very bottom corner, like where that mouse is pointing to probably like that top corner, if every little section was about, if if a section was from so here to here. That was about four miles, so four, eight, so be eight miles. It's about sixteen miles away. I don't know how far actually, but that's just basically a guess. A well, a well, a very well uneducated guess. Well, that's actually an educated guess because, because it's not, it's not one house away from where I live. So. That's just stupid, you can't just say like Oh yeah, I live on the border of Scotland Or I live on the border of Wales You can't really just say that because then You you would actually need a passport To go to the toilet from your bedroom Because, just think of it this way, if You lived on the border of two different countries You would have to actually have a passport Like, so if your bedroom was like say you live on the border of um I don't know France to no Poland to Ger Poland and Germany's borders. So then what you'd do is you would have to say your bedroom was in Poland but your toilet was in Germany. So what you would have to do is you would have to go like well yeah I need the loo desperately well, sorry, you can't go to the loo because you're in Germany right now. No, because you're in Poland. So we need to check your bags and whatever. I don't have any bags, I'm just going to the loo. So if you know what I mean. You know, just... I'm just putting that thought into your head. I know it's quite late. Well, it might be quite late. It might be late for people that are watching this in the UK because... That's basically what time I'm watching it. Like I'm recording, 10.56 at night. <sighs> Don't know if you can tell in my voice, but I am a bit tired. Not I feel a bit tired, but... Yeah, I can still record. Because nothing stops me apart from a sore throat. I was just thinking, like, nothing can stop me. Ever. I just thought, yeah, I haven't really been doing videos because I had a very sore throat. And I've still got that sore throat. But it's gotten better. So. Basically I don't really have anything I need to do. I could destroy the football stadium. And one of the houses. Take the track round. Or make it a double track. Like make it a whole loop. But I just. Like thought of this idea of. Why not just have a little branch off track? You know what it is? So it's like as early as possible? Because then it just makes it a lot easier. So that means I'm going to have two trains on practically one track. But the thing is, you just have to put signals in. And signals are kind of annoying. But it's basically what I did when I was quite ill. I would play OpenTTD 
and watch YouTube videos non-stop. And I don't have any cash. I don't know how I'll get the 50, the 50 pounds I need to build a signal. I'll start up a Patreon website. May yeah, I've already done that, why not? Da -da. Um, this. No. I want it here. I want another one here too. No, I want an extra one. Two signals, man. Let me. Fine then. Right, you've got one for coming out of the station. Then you've got the one for coming in from this side. So you'll go out on the street and then you'll go into the little siding bit to come out. And I know how to um, do that because that's what I was basically um, figuring out. Well, I was feeling a bit under the weather. So what you do is you put in a waypoint. So like a waypoint there and then... So then we've got Sunderland waypoint. But then here I could more than likely have a Newcastle waypoint, hopefully. So I've got one waypoint in Newcastle and one waypoint in Sunderland. So then it won't be, oh, Sunderland Waypoint 2! Mm. Why Sunderland Waypoint 2? Yes! What I wanted worked, right. You! Uh, delete, delete. Right, so I want you to go to, um, Sunderland. Via. Right, so, so it goes to Sunderland, so then I want it to go this way, and then I need to do Newcastle, and then Newcastle upon time waypoint. So you see what it does, it goes Sunderland, so it goes to Sunderland, goes via Sunderland waypoint, Newcastle Waypoint, point, and that's probably going to need the uh, timetable reshifted. So this isn't needing the timetable. Yep, it's needing re-timetabled. Right, so it's going to need to travel for three days. I'm just going to do what it says, basically. Just so we've got it properly scheduled. So here's what it's doing. It's going to go to Sunderland, stay for four days. For some reason that's not timetabled properly, so... we are just going to go and do that and change time and... Oh my goodness. So I've got this and then the start date is not going to be the 12th of August. It is actually going to be the... Um, Well, because the 16th of August, I'm going to make it start on the 20th of August. Oh, it's now 19th. You know what, I'm going to start it on the 20th. No. I'm just going to start it on the 30th. Go. So now it'll take 22 days to complete instead of the 6 days. Mm -hmm. And it's now going to say, 
Mum, three, four days little, five days little, no. It should really just automatically find its timetable. So, is it going the right way through things? Yes? Woo! Hmm. No, I can't remember what I said, but, um... I found the feature out of uh, timetables because I was actually um, taking a loan out with control clicking. Well, control tapping in my case because I'm using a mobile device. Right, so. Sunderland. Oh no, it's got the orders. It's got the orders! Woo! So you see, it's actually sensible. Waiting for a free path. Like, who would knew trains were sentient? Nah, it's not the trains that are sentient, it's the drivers. Oh my god, that's going to be a bit more of a fuss with this, so I'm going to go and boom, boom, this, opposite way, boom. So now I can reach up to the waypoint. It's probably going to need even more space, so it's probably going to have more tracks on it. Nope. So we've got just after the waypoint, and then we've got a few block, well, one block before the drop, I think. What was that, like, right before the drop? No, we've got one block of track after the drop. Right, how long's this video been? 12 minutes, so if I end this video now, I'll be in right. Right, so... Got an announcement. Da -da -da -da. Do you want these videos to be like less than 20 minutes long or around about 20 minutes long? Or do you want them to be like an hour, two hour, well, basically near enough an hour of recorded gameplay? Because like the longest video on my channel was a game of this and it was 55 minutes long. So I don't know what people want, so I'm going to ask it. So, like this video, if you want them to be around 20 minutes long, or like shorter, or um, dislike the video, if you want to um, like have like the, the hour, two hour long video, well the hour long videos. Like the ones I've been doing. And the only reason why I say like or just like instead of putting up a YouTube poll is because I don't know how. So yeah. Thank you for watching and um, see you in the next video. And goodbye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Well, you know what I mean. Just don't forget to subscribe. I post content out whenever I can. And it's normally in big, big bulks, and sometimes I'm ill, so I try to record as much as I can. So then, it's just like, as much as I can. And then, you know, so I record as much as I can. Yeah, so thank you for watching, and goodbye!